In this lesson, we're going to learn how to find the y-intercept from a quadratic function written in factored form. Remember what a y-intercept is. A y-intercept is the place where a function passes through the y-axis. The coordinates of that point are always 0, comma, y, meaning x is always 0. So we can find the y-intercept easily by remembering that the y-intercept occurs whenever x equals 0. In order to find the coordinates of the y-intercept, simply follow this process. First, in the function, substitute 0 in place of x. Then, evaluate. Let's take a look at an example. In our first exercise, we want to find the coordinates of the y-intercept. Here is the function, written in factored form. We begin by taking that function, and in place of x, substituting the number 0. And then we evaluate. We have 3 times 2 times negative 5. 3 times 2 is 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. So the coordinates of the y-intercept are the point 0, comma, negative 30. Here's one for you to try. Can you find the coordinates of the y-intercept for the function y equals x plus 3 times x plus 8? Please pause the video here and come back when you're ready to compare answers. Let's compare answers. We begin by substituting 0 in place of x, and then we evaluate. 3 times 8 is 24, so the y-intercept is at the point 0, comma, 24. And that's everything you need to know in order to find the coordinates of the y-intercept when the function is written in factored form. Remember, you can learn more about quadratic functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.